Good morning, or should I say good afternoon. I'm getting a little bit of a late start today, but that's okay. We're going to get it done. So even personally, I sometimes struggle with the motivation to want to get up and get moving. But the good thing is that you guys are keeping me motivated. The fact that I have committed to this 30-day challenge is a commitment. So I take it seriously. So I will be posting every day, and I'm excited about that. So even when I feel like I'm <laughs> struggling to get going, I know that I made a commitment and I am going to keep that commitment. So with, no, uh, with that being said, here we go. Our workout today is sponsored by, uh, powered by, da -da 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 -da. this is a new juice. I haven't even given it a name. Notice it doesn't have a label. So it is carroty, appledy, gingery, a little lemony, so I'm trying to think of a name for it. So this is what my workout is going to be powered by right now. I'm saying crazy carrot or uh, carrot twist or zesty carrot. So, hey, this is what we're working with. And it is a very good, mm -hmm. delicious. So revitalized juice, new product alert. Be looking for it. At the markets coming up, you can also pre-order. You can follow me on Instagram at Revitalized Juice and More. You can DM me about uh, delivery because we are still juicing and we are still working and we are continuing to keep this thing going. So today, it is the quarantine 30-day challenge day nine. Nine, 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 nine. We have been rocking and rolling and we are continuing to move and I'm excited about the fact that I am doing something daily so that makes me feel good. So today will be no different. Five moves but we're going to be focusing on that booty. Booty work. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> we're going to get some booty work in today. So get yourself ready. You don't need any equipment. You will need a mat. A lot of the moves will be done on the floor, so you will need a mat or a towel, something to um, to lay on as you're doing your booty work. But we're going to get it done. As always, I'm going to give you five moves. Five moves. You complete the whole um, routine in succession, and then take a one or two minute break. Repeat it again. One or two minute break. Repeat it for a third time for a total of three rounds. If you're feeling strong, continue to go. You can do four rounds, five rounds. If you're not feeling so strong, but you want to get something in, hey, do one round and maybe take a break. If you're feeling up to it later, complete two more rounds. But don't give up. That's the biggest thing. Don't give up. Just keep going. Keep moving. It doesn't matter. If you do something, it's better than doing nothing. So even if something that you put in, it's better than nothing. Because you know you're going to eat today, right? Right. You know you're going to sit around on social media or watching TV today at some point, right? Right, so you need to go ahead and know that you're going to move that body and get that booty working today, right? Right, so let's get it started. Here we go. So, five moves. I'm going to show you all the moves. Once I finish my take, I to myself go and continue to do three rounds. So, I'm in it with you. You're not alone. Let's get going. So as usual, we always start with jumping jacks. Why? Why, Coach T? Why do we start with jumping jacks? We start with jumping jacks for a couple of reasons. One, it is a total body workout. Two, it's getting your heart rate going, getting you ready, getting you ready and geared and going for the rest of the move. So that's what we're going to start with. So, today, a little tweaky in my own knee. I think I've been jumping around too much. So I'm going to do only 25 jumping jacks. That's how I'm feeling in my body today. If you're feeling strong, do 30, do 35. But for me, per round, I'm doing 25. Ready? Here we go. Twenty-five. Very good. Twenty-five. So knowing 
that I'm going to be doing at least three sets. So 25%, that's 75 jump jacks. Not too shabby. Okay, second move. Second move is called three point toe, toe tap. Three point toe tap. So I'm going to set myself up and <clears throat> I'm going to set myself up in kind of like a low squat, my legs together, my arms can be together, if you want to hold away, you can hold away, you can always hold away for extra resistance, so I think I will take a five pound weight, hold your weight, kind of set yourself up in like a squat position, make sure your shoulders are back, your butt is um, sitting back, so you don't want to, it's almost like you're getting ready to sit into a chair, so you're kind of holding yourself up. I'm going to start on my right leg. I'm going to show you the move first and then we're going to do it. So the move is three point toe tap. So here we go. So I'm going to step up, step back, to the side, step in, to the back, step in. Step up, back, side, back, back, in. There we go. So on both legs. So what this does, this is going to work your butt. Because you're staying low, you're gonna work your legs. You have to actually hold yourself with your core. So you need to be holding your core tight. Hold yourself tight as you complete the move. So here we go, I'm gonna do 10 on each side. Ready, let's go. Go as fast as you want to. Six. Stay low. Eight. I think I lost count. <laughs> this will be 10 though. 10. Very good. I can feel it in my thighs and my lower legs. So those exercises number two. For the jumping jacks, three point toe tap. Also, if you want to do them all on one leg at one time, that's also a good way. Burn that leg out, switch to the next leg. So I could have did 10 on one side and then 10 on the other side. So do what's best for you. Number three. Now for the remaining three exercises, we're gonna be on the floor. So get on your mat. I run my workout down today. <laughs> so we're gonna do a wide leg bridge. So lay on your mat. Are you familiar with bridge? Bridge is basically laying on your back, feet together, Lifting up your butt and squeezing at the top. This is a regular bridge. You're working the back of your legs. You're squeezing your butt. So that's a classic bridge. We're going to do wide leg. Put your feet together, kind of like a clamshell. Put your feet together where your, the bottoms of your feet are touching. Same thing. We're going to go up and down. I'm going to do 15. Ready? Let's go. Squeeze your butt. Good. 
Make sure you're breathing. That's 15. I'm going to go ahead and do 20. Now I'm also holding my abs. Very good. So you working that butt. The work is going to come in. You're squeezing your glutes every time you raise up and then release them on the way down. Good job. So that's the third exercise. Okay. Jumping jacks. Three point toe tap. Wide leg bridge. And the fourth exercise is called the side plank clam. Side plank clam. So get into a side plank position, but don't hold your legs straight. Go ahead and bring your knees in. So this is my setup. Clam is basically this. This is a regular clam. So we're gonna put them together. A side plank with the clam. And we're gonna do, let's try to do, hmm, let's try to do 10 on each side. This is a new exercise for most of you. So let's, let's try 10 on each side. If you're feeling strong, remember you can always do more. So don't let my number stop you. Do a number that you feel comfortable with. A number that you feel comfortable doing multiple rounds with. And also with that, you may start out your first round, go hard, do 20. Then your next round, bring it down, 15. Next round, bring it down, 10. Do it how it makes sense to you. Ready? Let's go. So this is a side, this is a side plank. So we're going to put the plank and the clam together. Ready? Let's go. Squeeze that butt. Also your abs. It was 10. I think I'm going to do 15. Also, this is a perfect exercise for your obliques. So you're working your butt. You're working your core. Using your core to help propel you. And you're also using your obliques. So I'm going to do five more. You ready? Let's go. Very good. So I did 15, so I got to do the other side. What you do on one side, you definitely have to do on the other side. <clears throat> Same setup. Get into your side plank position. Make sure that your legs are in. The point is to do the clam and the uh, side raise. You work in your oblique, you work in your leg, and you work in that booty. Ready? Let's go. 15. Fifteen. Very good. I can feel it. I can feel that booty work. Now, the last move for the round is the knee to elbow crunch. I think we've done this before in one of our previous workouts. You set yourself up and tabletop position. And all you're doing is reaching your leg, opposite arm, opposite leg, coming in, crunch out, coming in, crunch out. Take me a sip. <laughs> Make sure when you are working, you stay hydrated. Do not let yourself get dehydrated. Drink plenty of water, drink plenty of fluids. Stay hydrated. For a needle crunch, hold, contract your abs, hold them in. You're going to do opposite arm and opposite leg. Bring your elbow to your knee. I'm going to do 20 on each side. Let's go.
watch my dribbles. It was 15. Five more. Ready? Let's go. Good job. What you do on one side, you have to finish on the other side. So I did 20 um, knee to elbow crunches. So I'm going to do the other side. Ready? Let's go. Get your body in a straight line. I can feel it. Whew. Good job. Whew. I can feel that booty work. So, this is a great. Lower body, abs, core, booty, getting it in. So, guys, today is Thursday. This was day nine of the 30-day quarantine challenge. We are not giving up. Tomorrow, day 10, is a rest day. Woohoo! A rest from working out, but never a rest from nutrition. So stay tuned. There will be a video tomorrow with an awesome way to do an awesome project with your kids, make something yummy and delicious. So stay tuned for that. And as always, drink, eat, and be well. Peace and blessings.